Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how we can take text and stick it onto a custom path defined with the paths tool inside of GIMP. So, once you have your text created, at least at a basic level, go ahead and select the paths tool. And what we're going to be doing here is creating a series of points. In my case, I'm going to be trying to take this text and put it below the shadows over here, so that it kind of curves around with the landscape horizon. But using the paths tool, you can pretty much make any shape you want to. So for me, I'm going to zoom in here, and we're going to start on the left and create a curved line going to the right. Now with the paths tool, you can create straight lines and you can create curved lines. So if you want a straight line, do not hold anything down. Just left click a bunch of points and it'll create straight lines between all the path points you create. However, if you want those points to be curved, what you do is you click and hold left mouse button down, and then it's going to give you these handles which create bezier curves, allowing you to curve basically the left side of that point and the right side of that point as well. So if I go and create a straight line over here, it's actually going to curve downwards uh, over here on the left and curve upwards on the right. We can take this third point and also have extra control over it, so you can combine the curves to get it to look exactly how you want. I would point out that with large text like this, you do want to be very gentle on the amount of curving because these characters do need to stand up straight. So if you try to curve too much with large text, you're going to run into some issues when you actually convert it to the uh, path, this text to the path. So let's just go ahead and create these points here. So for the first point, I won't really curve it, and then maybe I'll curve it down just a bit. And I'll actually move this point all the way up here, seems fine, and create another point over here. The Bezier curve from the first one kind of still determines how this is going to look, so more or less fine. And we'll just keep going, maybe downwards a bit. Or actually, with this point, I'm going to redo that. I do want that to have a bit of a curve as well. So just really light on the handles here. Then we'll move this over, go down a little bit, and this can pretty much go all the way over to the end over here. Now with this path, we can adjust the points by left clicking on them just a bit until we get pretty much what we're looking for here. I might actually want to move all of this text down so that the uh, text is only showing in the black area. So, so I'm just going to bring these points down a little bit more to make sure that the text is hopefully showing on the black area alone. Uh, but this is kind of where we'll have to test it out a bit. So we have our path, and now with the path selected in the paths window, if you don't see the paths window, go up to Windows, uh, Dockable Dialogs, and open up paths. Make sure it's selected there. Go, go back over to your layers window, right click on the text, uh, assuming you have already previously defined it. Right click it, go to text along path, and that's going to take the text and try to put it along the path. So our text element is actually not needed anymore, so we can hide that in the layers panel. And what putting the text along the path did was uh, basically create a separate path here where we can select this and fill it in. Now because it's showing all the path points right now, we can either click off the path in order to see more of what it looks like, or we can just zoom in to get more fine detail on everything on the path. So I'm noticing for this H over here that there's an issue, like I was talking about earlier with large text. Uh, you can't curve very much, which is a downside. So in order to get this looking right, uh, we can actually delete this, go back to this other path that's already been created. And with the paths tool, we can edit it a little bit more. So maybe with these handles. I'm going to just adjust that. Also, I noticed that the text is showing a little bit above the line where we want it to be. It's actually showing where the stars are at, so I want to bring all of this down. It's just a thing we've got to do a little bit of trial and error. And let's just repeat process. Try that again. So I'm going to right click the text, text along path. We'll see how that goes. Uh, the H looks a little bit better now. Not exactly perfect, but we might be able to work with that. So if you're satisfied with how the outline of the text looks, go into the Paths window, right-click the path, and do Path to Selection. That's going to create 
a selection border around all of these character outlines. And what we need to do now is go to the Layers panel, create a new layer, and fill it in with the paint bucket. So we just need to fill one of these in and it will fill all of the characters in because we have it all selected at once. So paint bucket, I'm going to do white color, fill it in, and then we have text along a path. So we can hide the paths now so that we can see exactly what it looks like. So I'm going to fix this up real quick going back and redoing this path creation step. I just want to take these points and move them a little bit further down. And now we can recreate the text one more time, so make sure you have the right path selected. I'm going to delete that old one. So when you're ready, right-click the text again and do text along path. And that's looking pretty good this time. So I'm going to hide this old path. I'm going to right-click the new path. I'm going to do path to selection. And fill it in with the paint bucket tool. Oh, we need a new layer, of course. So new layer. Fill it in with the paint bucket. And there we go, we have text that we can manipulate. So for instance, if we wanted to do an outline now, we would just select this off to selection. We could right click, edit, stroke path, and change the color there to something like red. Stroke it, and then there we go. So that's gonna be it for this video on how you put text along a path inside of GIMP. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.